Hey Divine One, it's Jerome Braggs of JeromeBraggs.com and I wanted to come really quickly and tell you that when you're thinking about healing the body from disease or chronic illness, you really want to think in terms of energy expansion. So our bodies were created by our soul to run off the energy of our soul, right? The energy of our soul is the frequency that our body uses to sustain good health and to heal itself when it is sick. And it needs a surplus of this energy within its system, within the biological system, in order to run at its best. You can kind of think of it like uh, a, a car needing to be fueled to be able to run well and to run for a long time. And when it gets low on fuel, it starts to break down. So it's kind of same thing with our bodies. When our energy, uh, when our soul's energy begins to shrink or get diminished in our body, um, our body begins to break down. Uh, this is where a lot of illness comes from because again, the soul's energy is the fuel for our bodies more than the food that we're eating or the water we're drinking or anything else. Our soul's energy is the fuel that allows our body to run optimally, to be healthy, to be well. And so when you want, if you're experiencing an illness or disease, it's because somehow for a long time, your soul's energy has been shrinking uh, and you want to expand it instead. You want to begin to grow it. This is what spiritual growth really is, but you want to grow your soul's energy within you. And the two aspects of your soul's energy that you really want to focus on when we're sick that will cause uh, the greatest kind of transformation in our health and wellness is the energy of ease and the energy of delight. Uh, and ease is really like, you know, that it means that there's no turmoil in your system, that there's no conflict or no feeling of difficulty, um, that there is a feeling of peace. There is a feeling of things running smoothly. There's a feeling of relaxation in you, that there is a feeling of all being well. And this is what you want to expand, right? You want to grow, meaning that you want to feel more like that than you did before. You, each day that comes, you want to feel more at ease than you were the day before. And you want to look at where have you not been at ease, like what thoughts and beliefs are you holding about yourself in your life that are causing you to not be at ease, that are causing you some type of inner turmoil, some type of inner stress, some type of um, inner frustration or inner difficulty. What type of choices are you making for yourself that don't allow you to move through your life feeling at peace, right? Instead, you feel overwhelmed or maybe you feel uh, exhausted or maybe you feel um, the choices you're making for yourself make you feel afraid or wherever you're not at peace, right? In the choices that you make, healing requires you to start to make choices that make you feel more at peace, that make you feel more at ease. Uh, and the same thing with your lifestyle, like do, do your relationships, uh, your work relationships, your intimate relationships, your relationships you have with your friends and your family, do those relationships make you feel at ease? and more so, and how could you make become even more at ease in these relationships? If they don't make you feel at ease, what do you need to do uh, to release whatever stress you may feel, whatever conflict you may be experiencing, whatever turmoil you may be having, so that you come back at ease? What do you need to do? Like this is the part of healing that is the work, right? So you wanna look at how can I experience more ease in my body not just like looking at my organs and and the blood flow and all that i'm talking about the emotional state how can i feel emotionally more at ease and how can i continue to feel even more and more at ease every day even if it's just a minuscule amount so ease is the first thing that you really want to look at as far as expanding this feeling, expanding this energy within you. The second thing is delight. And delight is, you know, the feeling of joy and fun and pleasure. You know, the thing that really expands our soul's energy that makes it grow is the feeling of joy. And when 
to look at joy, you want to look at what delights you. Like, what are you, are you working in your passions? If not, what are you passionate about? How can you experience more of that? How can you work more in that? How can you have more fun every day? Can you do something every day that makes you, that's fun for you? How can you experience more pleasure? How can you experience things that make you feel uplifted, that make you feel excited about the day? That sense, actually, the more and more delighted you feel, the more and more you are doing things that delight you and the more and more you are focusing and engaging in things that make you feel fulfilled, that make you feel happy, that make you feel excited, the more your energy begins to expand in the body and the more that fuels the body with the very frequency that it needs to heal itself. And once it does heal, to sustain wellness. The more your energy expands, the more you thrive the more you, your body becomes well and stays well. And also the more um, you begin to manifest and attract the things that you really want. Because when your energy expands, your frequency raises, your vibration raises. And the higher and higher your frequency becomes, the better and better things you attract. So you really want to think, when you're thinking about healing, in terms of energy expansion, particularly in the energies of ease and delight. Try those out and see if you don't experience your own body um, becoming healthier, even if you don't even make any other changes. If you just do those two things, I promise you, you'll experience uh, some dramatic changes in your health. As always, I love you, but don't just take my word for these things. Try them and prove them to yourself. Much love.